Some people on my team are able to make 30 offers in a day. And this is the system we use on Redfin to be able to find those listings. So first, once you go to redfin.com, you want to make sure that you are signed in, right? You want to have the profile that you want the emails to go to signed in. And it's really important because once you, whatever email you sign in with and you save the searches on, you'll get a bunch of Redfin emails. I highly suggest also making a label like this Redfin, where all your Redfin emails go instead of it like congesting your inbox. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sign in to Redfin, right? Um, right now you could see if we go to save searches, you could see all the searches we have saved. But first thing you're gonna do is you'll go right to the home screen. You click buy and you can put in a city address. Like I would recommend putting in like a county. That's usually what we do. Uh, it depends on the market you're in. Let's just say you're only focusing on Duval County, right? Which is Jacksonville, Florida. So I'll put in Duval County. You could put Jacksonville or you do Duval County, Florida. Okay, then you'll click the search and you'll look. Next thing you do is you go to all filters, right? So you wanna find things that are for sale. Now you could filter out Bed Bath Count if you want. Um, I usually don't. Now home type, right? You could have house, you could have land, you could have mobile homes, multifamily. But let's just say I just wanted a housing and land. I like all three of them because I do want to call them pending. Sometimes they're about to fall through. You could also do this more than, less than. I just click all of the listings. I don't really care. Square footage, right? This is where you could do a minimum square feet. Let's just say I don't want anything that is less than 750. Um, everything else I keep the same except for year build. I really don't want anything over you know, let's just call it 2010 right now. I don't want 55 plus community, so I exclude it. Love this button on Redfin. And then here's everything else, right? So you could choose all this up. Basically, you could either do a keyword search. The thing that we've been doing is just clicking this fixer upper button right here. And you see, it's just bringing it down. I have 238 results. HOA fees. This is where you could um, exclude land leases. This is where you could do like a max HOA. If I don't really want anything over $500 a month, that's the max HOA, then that's what I'll look at. It doesn't really refine this as it says, it's still 238. Now, the next thing is I don't want foreclosures. I don't want short sales, so exclude short sales. You know, you could be like, you know, if I want to connect with agents, I don't really want for sale by owner. So buy agent, new construction. I could even just take off new construction if I want. And I just have my buy agents and no short sales. Everything else I basically keep the same, right? So now I click see, see the homes. And now it shows me all of the homes available. And from here, these should all fit basically what we're looking for. So right now, what we'll do is before I do anything else is I'll save the search. So you click save search. And the reason why is because once I save the search, it'll now be in my save searches button. And anytime I wanna rerun this filter, all I have to do is, is click the button. And also when you save the search, it'll ask you, um, what do you wanna name it, right? And how, when do you wanna get emailed? I do instantly email, not daily, not never, emailed instantly, right? So that's my save search, now I always get the emails. So now we get the emails, right? So now again, I click the save search button, name it, whatever, uh, and now it comes in. Now this is what it looks like, just to show you guys on the email side. Once you get an email, those any search that you save, what you're gonna really look for is, it's not really status change. Status change is great, and if you're honestly calling on these, it's important for you on Zillow. This is how we, we differentiated. Redfin is for listings. Zillow is more for once I call the agent on it because we look at the Zillow listing to talk to the agent. I'll have my act rep heart that so that now we get Zillow listings anytime there's a status change on the properties that they hearted. And they're only harding ones they're calling on. So they could see if it's, there's a price decrease, if there's a status change, if it's sold. But for, for finding uh, listings from Redfin to call on, what you're gonna be more um, focused on is the new in, right? The new in, this is gonna be based on your search. And then all you're gonna do is click see all updates. And then once you click see all updates, it'll take that whole search that you did and show you the new houses, right? So now one thing I wanna bring up is you see how we have, there's, these aren't hearted, but then you see how we have some that are hearted right here, boom, boom, right? All these are hearted. This is the system we use for Redfin to make sure that we're staying on top of the listings and we don't do double the work. So what we'll do is let's just say I'm in Duval County, right? And let's just say this one wasn't hearted. These are all brand new ones. So now I have a VA do this, but before I used to do this myself, I will go through the pictures, right? So I'll, I'll open up this, this thing, this is a new listing. I'll look at the pictures really quick and I'll be like, yep, this is something I wanna call on. So if I know that this is something I wanna call on, so what I'll do is I'll either do one of two things. I'll either have a Google sheet if I have the G drive and everything in my G drive, or I'll have an Excel sheet. So I'll open up an Excel sheet, let's just say, right? And you could do the same thing for Google Sheets. The most important thing is just what you have here. So I'll put address, I'll put agents, right? And then I'll put cell phone. 
And like, this is just the main things you're gonna need in the beginning. You could have it be like super robust. Like, let's just say um, for us, what we have right now, the way it looks like, you know, you'll have source tags, deal one city. This is specific for our go high level, state, postal code, county, right? So if that's status, first agent name, full name, first and last, the phone number. You don't have to get this robust in the beginning, right? Really the most important thing you're gonna need is I need the address, I need the agent's name, and I need the cell phone. If you have a CRM, you're gonna wanna make this basically the filters that it's gonna need to upload to your CRM correctly. If you don't, then what I would just recommend is just doing something as simple as this. So let's just say I go back to the listing and I'm like, all right, this is what I want. So here's the address. So, okay, so I'll paste the address here. Next thing I'll do is I'll look for the agent. I'm not crazy about Redfin sometimes, but here it is, here's the agent, right? And I don't like to take the number on here. I'll just go on and I'll try to find the agent's information. Sometimes realtor.com will have it. Okay, no, not over here, right? So you, you wanna look for the agent's actual um, sell because sometimes on um, Redfin or Zillow, it's just a brokerage number, but sometimes homes.com is good. So I'll just take this and I'll add that over here and then I'll get the agent's name over here and put that there. So that's that, right? And so what I'll do is I'll go through all of them and I'll just add as many of them as I want. So this is why it's important to do this, not during like your calling hours. You don't wanna do this in the middle of the day. This is more of like an early morning type of thing or later at night or a weekend type of work. You don't do this when you're supposed to be calling and making money. This is why now we have a VA do this. Um, before I was doing it myself, but I would do it at nights or I would do it like early in the morning before I was just calling for the rest of the day. So you wanna have as many of these on as possible. But now, as you can see, like once you start getting a ton of these addresses, you'll be like, wait, which one did I re recognize? Which one did I already look at? So for Redfin, what we do is we'll heart it. So now I'll heart this property. I'll click this button, give it a heart. So I know anything that is hearted, regardless of if I passed on it, like let's just say this one was remodeled and it popped up um, and I'm not going to call on this. I'll still heart it just so I know I looked at it already. So all I have to look at is anything that does not have a heart is a new listing. So that's where my eyes go to. So now the more you do, so if I show you one of our searches, right? So anything that doesn't have a heart is new. We didn't look at just yet. Anything that, so all of these, my my um, my VA would go ahead and go through every single one of these. And then once he gets to the hearts, he's already processed this, processed this, right? Um, well, looks like we have a lot to process in St. John's County, but you get the point. So we'll heart anything that is already processed. If you want, if you're getting the emails, right? It, it's easier to look through the emails, but if not, you could always just click through your searches because they're always updating and just see which ones have not been have not been hearted. And then all of the ones that have not been hearted are gonna be the ones that have to get added. So that's how we use the Redfin approach. So now what do you do once you have the Excel sheet? You could do two things. One, you either download this into a CSV, you'll have the address, the agent's names, the agent's cell phones, right? And if you find the email, put the email in here, that's fine. You could add you know, email or something else. Whatever you want that you need for your CRM, you'll get all that information. And it is time consuming, right? It, it is it is a tedious work, but it's what I found the best way because you'll get at least all the information. And then you just upload it to your CRM and then you could just start dialing. So you'll download this as a CSV file and then you'll just import it into your CRM and just start dialing away. So that's, that's the Redfin approach. That's how we find our listings. That's how we could figure out which ones to call on. Just go through the Redfin filters, honestly, figure out your county or your city or um, area that you want to find these listings in, put that into the search bar, then or go to the filters, put in the filters you want. I showed you how to do that. Um, save the search, name it whatever you want, get emails instantly, and you're looking for the new in on your email thread. And then when you're going through these properties, look at the pictures. As long as the condition meets what uh, condition we're looking for, then you'll add that to an Excel sheet, the agent's the address, the agent's name, cell phone, email, whatever you want, um, get and then give it a heart so you know you've already processed it. And then just go through as many as you possibly can, get a whole Excel sheet ready to go, import the CSV into your CRM. And then when it's time to dial, you'll be able to call every single one of them. And it's the best process that, that we found right now just to stay on top of things. If you don't have access to the MLS or if you're not pulling lists, um, um, it's the way that we do that for our specific listings. It's our um, soft new and improved soft approach.